Okay. Hey guys, I am Tanya Eberhardt and I'm the founder of Brandface and we help business stars differentiate themselves and we do that through personal branding. Hey guys, I'm Michael Carr. I'm the COO of Brandface. I was a client before I became a partner in the company and we're the only comprehensive personal brand building system across the globe. Thank you for joining us. We've got a great program for you here today. It's going to be a short one. It's going to be a great one. Yes, it is. And um, guys, um, what we're going to talk about today is something that I actually noticed over many years of personal branding and marketing. And that's that brand face prospects actually come in three different types. So the types of brand faces, and that means the types of personalities. And we're not talking about that old movie, The Three Faces of Eve. That's totally different. <laughs> and so you, you don't want to be one of those faces because I think all of them were pretty messed up. So we're talking about three different types of brand faces. And that means where are you in the stage of actually becoming a brand face or what type of brand face are you? And as we go through them, here's what I want you guys to do. If you feel like you identify with one while we're talking about it, put that in the comments below and tell us why. We want to hear from you about this, okay? So I'm going to let Michael tackle the very first one, which is my personal favorite. All right, folks. So uh, uh, in the book, we actually coined this as a game face, number one, game face. Someone with a lot of confidence and a healthy ego. Their game face is always on. These people have no problem putting themselves out there because they strongly believe in the core idea of their that their businesses are built upon. OK, they most of these people have taken personal professional risk to build that business or that brand, and they're willing to openly express what they stand for. Uh, <clears throat> so they have no problem putting their face forward effectively. Right. Putting themselves out there, you know, long before we're talking about people that long before there was a book called Brand Face that taught people how to do this. These were the original people that actually just did it, you know, because they believed in the integrity of the business that they were building, like the Colonel. That's and great. I still use, listen, I use the Colonel all the time. And when I'm doing seminars and talking to, to crowds of people, I use the, you know, we have questions sometimes people say, hey, if I'm a brand face and I put a brand face out there, we're talking, um, am I, and, and, you know, what if I sell my business and I'm not the face of my business anymore? I'm like, well, what did the Colonel do? They're making cartoons about him. That, you know what I mean? They still have his likeness in a cartoon. For heaven's sakes, they're hiring other people to act like him. He's been dead like, I don't know, 15, 17 years, something like that, 20, I don't know. And the colonel's still around. So the game face is the person who does not have a problem putting it out there, not in an egotistical way. When we say a healthy ego, we, we don't mean egotistical. What we mean is the confidence that knows experience, okay? So effectively, people who have done their job for so long and they're so good at it, they don't mind being out there. When I was a kid, not to draw on about it, but when I was a kid growing up, and actually Tanya would remember this also, there was a guy that owned a furniture store in Gainesville, Georgia, and it was called Unclaimed Furniture, and he and he nicknamed himself the Wolfman. You remember? I do remember. And he was he was the he was the game face of unclaimed furniture, and he's famous even today. I see people. Somebody posted on Facebook the other day in my friend's feed, and they and and they were talking about remember the Wolf Man, and I'm like, of course. And then years later, he had his daughter that grew up, and you know, instead of end of the commercial, he'd say, hey, and ask for the Wolf Man. He you know she would say no no ask for Donna. And then after he passed, you know, it, for a long time, it was Donna. And I haven't seen their commercials in years and years. And I haven't been by that uh, warehouse to see if they're still in business. But uh, for, I mean, decades. He oh, yeah, I remember that. I remember that as a kid because he was on TV and radio all the time. All the time. Yeah. All the time. All the time. That's a game face. That's yeah. a game he knew face. he had good product, good financing, fair, fair treatment of people. He was proud of that. He put his face out there. He was a true game face. Yeah. And, you know, they say that one of the greatest fears in the world is the fear of public speaking, right? And that is pretty much that icon of putting yourself out there is getting on the stage and talking to a bunch of people. And um, a game face is actually somebody who can do that pretty well and doesn't have any problem with that because they want to share that expertise. They have a lot of confidence. 
But the next one, the next, the next face, if you will, um, is what we call save face. And I wanted to talk about this one because the gentleman that I'm actually on this video with today came into brand face as a save face. And to look at Michael today, we're doing these videos, we're on stages, so he's got a lot of confidence. You know, you see the confidence, that's not a problem. And safe face is not necessarily somebody who doesn't have confidence, but it's somebody who just is a little more reserved. They're more, um, they care about how they're perceived and how they're received. So it might be somebody who knows that they've got what it takes, knows that they have the knowledge and experience, but there's a little trepidation about what other people are going to think about them once they put themselves out there. I mean, Michael's on billboards in Jefferson, right? And you know, some people drive past those billboards and think, ah, that guy's got a billboard again, right? He's on a billboard, he's on radio, he's on this. So you can expect some of that, right? And some people deal with that really well. You know, I've had to work to deal with that because once we get to a point where we're in different places, there will be criticism. Let me tell, let me shine that spotlight on you right now, guys. <laughs> there will be criticism. And the higher you rise in your profession, the more well-known and recognized you are, the more criticism there will be. And you have to learn to turn off that switch. For sure. And, 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 and understand that you, it, you, you have confidence, you have confidence in doing your job every day, but you're just hesitant to put yourself out there because mostly of what you think people will think of you. And, and a lot of very genuine, caring people are that way. And that's a very common thing. In fact, most people that come into our brand face program probably are coming from a place of safe face. And, um, and because they're professionals, they've got it together, they know what they're doing. So, um, so I would say those of you who are sitting in this category, and we want to hear from you, you know, put it in, in the comments below if you feel like you're in that category or whichever one identifies most with you at this point in time, but let us know. Um, but that save face is really important because you're this close to getting to that game face, which is the prime one that you want to be if you're really going to put yourself out there and become more recognized and used to it, guys. So, yeah, it, well, you know, I want to add to that if I could. They, you know, I was a safe face for a lot of different reasons. Uh, one of the reasons I was a safe face was because I, I had been on the road in, a, in the capacity of a real estate auctioneer. I had been, I had seen a modicum of success. Like uh, I had been on CNN. I had been on um, on um, Inside Edition twice. I had been on um, um, Fox uh, News. You were on Fox. You were on. Uh, well, we were on all the major news stations. Right. We were, I was I was on the front page of the New York Times. Um, Dan Rather did a special about us, and and I was the auctioneer that they chose to 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 spotlight. Like it was. I was out there a little bit, right? And it, but when I came back, I wanted to be I, like I told Tanya I was just going to come back and hide in the corner. Like I just want to build a brokerage and you know have fun with it. I love real estate. I always want to be involved in real estate and, uh, and help people grow and 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 succeed in their own um, careers in real estate. But I didn't want to be the face of it. And she goes, Oh no, oh yeah, you hire me, and that's exactly what you're going to do. And she was right. Look, it's called brand face. Well, agreed. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it, you know, so the point that I'm making is that some people are in different reasons why they might be a safe face. Like you might be the type of person that thinks, you know what? Um, and this may sound strange, but there are people that think this way. What, what happens when I do it and I get all this business, then I got to work. You know what I mean? <laughs> there are people that, fish. yes, there are people that think we've had people, we've had clients on, on calls before and they'll be like, well, you know, I'm pretty comfortable where I am right now. We're like, yeah, but look at all this giant blue sky there is to just go get, you know what I mean? So there's a lot of different reasons why people would be safe face. And you, what you want to do is move to that game face folks, because it's game on. And especially in 2020, when we, uh, when real estate and business, uh, cause we talk a lot of entrepreneurs too in business. It is time folks. Uh, it, the, the, uh, the economy is prime for anybody that wants to make something of themselves. It is a, a brand new day and we have that opportunity. And so get out of that safe face mode. If you're in that and get into that game face mode, that's my challenge. 
And then I'll segue into the next one, the about face. Okay, now we run into this, right? There's some about faces out there. That's someone who has never really even thought about being the face of their brand or how impactful it could be to the growth of their business. Um, I, you know, we, it's on our book. Tanya coined it years ago. Um, it, people don't do business with a logo. They do business with a person. And the about face group just needs to be reminded of this. That, that needs to sink in for a minute. You know, they don't, they don't do business with uh, a logo. You know what I mean? Like even McDonald's has Ronald McDonald. You know what I mean? Like there is a personal, uh, personal ability to so many different genres of business and if you're in a face forward business like real estate, especially loan officers, um, you know, attorneys, if, if you're in a business, even car dealerships, like if you're in a, a car dealer and a, and a salesperson, you want people to recognize you. You want them to come on that lot asking for you and you want them to recognize who you are. And if you're in any business like that, you need to think about that. If, you've, if you're in that business, but you've never thought about, you know what, I do need to be face forward on this, then you need to get out of that about face and at least get into safe face so we can move you right on into gain face uh, because it's very important. Even if you're a brokerage, like think about this, I run a brokerage now. I have, I have a couple of dozen agents that are underneath me and, and we still work brand face principles in that. I'm still the forward facing person, the backstop of the company that everybody, any of our clients, no matter what salesperson they're working with can reach me and come to me and they know my face and they know my likeness and they know a little bit about me. So they know I'm very approachable, but all of my agents are face forward also. And they have their own, uh, uh, you know, about face, safe face, game face transition that we bring them through because they're the ones that are going to be forward facing to the clients. So they got to be there. Yep, they do. They do. And, you know, the reason we wanted to talk to you guys about this today is that there are things holding people back, right? And one of those things that hold a lot of people back is being afraid or intimidated to put themselves out there. And so the first thing you got to do is look at anytime you want to, anytime you realize I'm not where I want to be, the first thing you have to do is look at where you are, right? Where mm -hmm. am I now? Am I a game face already? If so, what are you waiting on, right? If I am right. a safe face, you have to identify what it is you're waiting on, what's holding you back, and the same way for about face. And in those, you just need to look inside yourself, figure out where you are and what you need to do to overcome that. And I'm just looking right now to see if we had any questions on here. Hello to Cindy, to Alex, to Carrie. We've got quite a few other people on. I can't always see the names here. But um, if you guys have questions, put them down in the comments below. And we'll tackle them a little bit later because we're trying to keep this video pretty short. But I wanted to encourage you guys to go to a new Facebook group that we started called Build Your Real Estate Brand. It is a closed group, but if you're an active real estate agent, broker, or even a mortgage broker, a loan officer, uh, go to that page and request to join. We have people standing by to let you in, and you'll get access and content there that you won't find anywhere else. So that is the Facebook group called Build Your Real Estate Brand. Yep, you'll get a lot of tips, folks, that'll help you on, on your journey, right? And we're here in any way possible that we can help you. And one of the ways that we do that is if you're, if you're thinking about a brand or uh, you're hearing the buzzword that is that, that Tanya has created, personal branding, uh, especially in the real estate industry. If you're seeing that, you want to know what that's about. You want to know uh, if you have a brand or learn more about brand, or maybe you know a good bit about a brand and you just want us to check it out for you or discuss it to see if it can be tweaked or tightened up, you can go to discussyourbrand.com. That's discussyourbrand.com. Dot com and you can book a free 30 minute session with our staff and they will get you headed in the right direction and uh, you may have nailed it already and if you just want to know then please join us uh, we, we would love to have you love to discuss it we love this personal branding we live it eat it sleep it every day Tanya drug me into game face and it's game on so <laughs> I did I did sometimes it was difficult <laughs> but all in all because it it's fun 
Yeah, well, that's true. He likes to be challenging, and that's another part of a game face. Like, he, when he elevated to that level of now he's going to be a challenge with this, that's when I knew I got to make the dude a partner, right? <laughs> he's got to be a partner now. It's, there's just no other way around it. So, so anyway, thank you guys for spending time with us today. We appreciate it. And leave your comments and any questions uh, in the comments area below, and we'll jump back out and take care of those for you as soon as we can. All right, guys. That's right, folks. Hey, folks, it's all about prosperity, and we're not just talking about money. We're talking about the 360 of prosperity. We're talking about the abundant life, and we know that prosperity favors the bold, folks. So be bold, especially with your brand. And thank you, Ms. Tanya. Thank you, Michael. All right, thank you guys for joining us. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.